are growing more and more frequent. I guess this means the time is running out. You know, that Minazuki guy talked about making his world. But how is he going to do that? If we presume he's following in Akutsuki's footsteps, then he's going to gather shadows, merge them, and summon some great power. You mean that thing Minazuki-kun was talking about? What do you think, Junpei? I mean, you've been surprisingly quiet. Are you not feeling well? Huh? Nah, I'm fine. Coaches are well-trained, you know. I guess it's just that I'm feeling all tense. All this end-of-the-world stuff isn't anything to joke about. I've got people waiting for me. Like the kids have a game coming up next week, so there's no way I can lose here. Stupe's being serious for once. Looks like he's grown up a bit. Well, I guess I should learn from his example. <laughs> Junpei has leveled up! You don't want the world to end either, do you, Labby-chan? You just woke up after all. Yeah. I don't want to lose this world after I've met everyone. I gotta do my best. Here it goes again. Wait, didn't we see this classroom earlier? I feel like the fog's getting thicker, too. It won't be good if this keeps up. Since we can't get a communication with Fukasan, we don't even know what's around us. Come on, keep your cool. Getting all aggravated won't do us any good. You're so positive as always, Junpei-san. You think so? I think you've changed, though. You've gotten taller, too. Huh? <laughs> uh, why do you sound so relieved? Um, I'd been wondering if I hadn't changed at all. I made a promise to Mitsudo-san that I'd live life like a child. What's that supposed to mean? Is that hard to do or something? It's difficult. I don't know what it's like to be a child, so I wasn't sure if I should keep doing what I've been doing. Huh. I guess being an adolescent boy is difficult. You should just live your life the way you are. I mean, you are a kid. That's right. You can't trust Mitsuru-senpai's idea of childhood. Can you even imagine what she was like when she was a kid? Whoa, you're right. I can't. It's impossible for common people like us. Speaking of children, that show dude is the perfect example of a spoiled brat. One moment he's joking around, and the next he's incredibly pissed off. Yeah. What would someone have to go through in order to make them seriously consider destroying the world? What happened to him? What's up, Koromaru-san? Is there something bothering you about this classroom? Like you've made it all the way here. Now, what to do? <gasps> You're General Teddy! We finally found you. is getting out of hand, so I, General Teddy, will face you myself! Now bring on the ring! time to have some fun. Those, Those who, who hinder, hinder the creation, creation of my world shall all perish here. Whoa, someone's got a big mouth. My world? <laughs> this has been our world from the start. We're not just gonna let you destroy it that easily. Destroy? <laughs> I will not destroy it. 
This will be a new beginning. The beginning of a world of my own. Where only I will live. Only you? What about Sho? This doesn't concern you. The vessel will soon be complete. Nothing you can do at this point serves any purpose. We won't know that unless we try. Konamaru! Like hell we're gonna let you start anything like that! Let's take this guy down and move on! You're not gonna melt now? I knew it. You're different from the other fakes. Who are you? Who am I? I'm General Teddy. Who else? Well then, Bye-bye, you pesky vermin! Ah! <laughs> hey! Get back here! Uh, hey, Yucatan. He said something about a vessel being completed. Wasn't that kind of suspicious? Yeah. It must mean that we don't have any time left, and when we defeated that General Teddy, he didn't disintegrate like the other fakes. There must be more to this case. Can you all hear me? You're very close. I'm getting a strong reading just up those stairs.
No way. Is this place? It, is this the moon viewing tower from Gecko Khan High? right? It's where you killed Ikutsuki. This time, it'll be the place where you all die. See? I've already written what's going on your tombstones. It's some real poetical literature. Just kidding. Shokun, please stop this! Even if you do do it, it'll change nothing! Is this all because you hate us? Because we stopped Ikutsuki? You really don't ever shut up, do you? I already told you that I don't give a shit about some dead guy! I'm doing this because it's fun. Watching you all freak out is hilarious. You're nothing but goddamn pests. They can't do anything on your own. So I can't stand you buzzing around. That's when he spoke to me and said, you should just destroy the world. <laughs> Isn't that the greatest suggestion ever? Let's stop this. You keep saying Ikutsuki doesn't matter to you, but he's all you've been talking about this whole time. What was that, bitch? Ikutsuki was a worthless ass who did whatever he wanted to me and still ended up dead. That's all. I don't give two shits about someone like him. That's not true, Shokun. You're only running from your problems. You shouldn't turn away from your true self. Shokun, come back with us. None of us hold any of this against you. Didn't you see what happened before? I'm a machine and I hurt everyone, but they still accept me. You're just like me. If you have somewhere you can go back to, then you don't have to do this. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Shut the hell up, goddammit! <laughs> must you go in attempting to ruin this plan? You... you're Minazuki, huh? Unfortunately, the borrowed power has been exhausted. From here on, I have to deal with you myself. It, it's him again! Are we really sure that he doesn't have split personalities? resulting in my birth. I knew it! However, I still have no love for that man. After all, he tried to have me erased. Erase you? Yes. Ikutsuki was nothing more than a threat, who was using this boy only to throw him away later. But this boy was something different. He suggested that we try to act exactly like Ikutsuki. He created fake Ikutskis. He even went so far as to gain access to the Kirijo servers, to try to gain more information about Ikutski. Then... you were the hacker Kikuno-san told us about! But Ikutski, the only other person this boy knew, had already died by the time the boy awoke from his coma. All that was left to him was the truth. That man had tossed him aside like a piece of trash. Seriously? Since then, the boy did everything on his own. He had no help, met rejection at every turn. There was nowhere to go, and no one to turn to. <laughs> you all believe that everyone is surrounded by other people just like you. But that in itself is only the beginning of this world's failures. The world holds no worth for this boy. Sho Minazuki was thrown into this world all alone, and he wished that everything besides himself disappear. Then all I must do is grant him that wish. No, 
that's not what Shokun really wishes for. What you're doing won't save him. Even if you don't know how, or if you end up hurting others, human interaction can change people. Labrys. Silence, puppet. What would a thing like you know of this boy? That's right, I ain't human. But neither are you. You're just using his body while you try to destroy the world. You don't care what he feels at all. I ain't like you. No matter how much it hurts, or how much suffering it causes, I love this world. Wow, well said. Great job, Labrys. Right. What he's saying just sounds like he's running from his problems. It doesn't matter if you're fully human or not. We're all standing here because of how we clashed with others and gained acceptance. Very well. There's nothing more to say to you. Persona, you have gone too far. Sit in shame of your own ignorance as you await the moment of your destruction. Shokun. And to do that, we'll defeat you! So you do understand. Not another word, Lout. I won't let anyone get in the way! And good! Labrys! Is 
that a horde of shadows? Kodamaru! <laughs> like to have to say goodbye, but you'd better come back to us. Everyone, thank you! I will protect this world! Welcome to Sigma Prime. Prime.